Hello everyone and welcome to week two of inorganic and organic chemistry. In this uh, video, I'm hoping to give you an overview of the tasks you're going to have to complete uh, this week. I'm going to share my screen now and I will show you what you have in store for this week. So, um, the resources for this week are primarily concentrated in supporting you um, for some of the practicals you're going to be doing next week and also uh, information about the first task of the logbook that has just been released. The first thing you've got in week two, preparing for practical week and task one, is a paper um, called Determination of Concentration of Total Sodium and Potassium in Surface and ground Groundwater Using a Flame Photometer. And the reason I've chosen this paper is because uh, the researchers use a flame photometer, like the one you are going to be using in one of the practicals. You are also going to be determining potassium and sodium ions in water. In your case, you will study a sample of um, bottled water. So uh, with this paper, you will be able to compare uh, your results, not only to the results, to the information that uh, the, bot the label in the bottle has about the levels of potassium and sodium ions in that water, but also to the information, to the values that these researchers uh, obtain from their own work. There's also a paper on partition coefficients in the pharmaceutical industry. Um, sorry, it's not a paper, it's um, a section in a book. It's a book called Essentials of Pharmaceutical Chemistry, pages 29 to 34. Um, I've included it here because you will be using, you will be determining the partition coefficient of salicylic acid in dichloromethane uh, water. And you will be using the method that is described in this, uh, in this section of the book, the shake flask uh, method. So um, it's uh, six pages and um, it will give you a good overview of both what partitions, partition coefficients are and why are they used in the chemical pharmaceutical industry and the method that you are going to use to perform the experiment. The book is, click on this link, um, you will need to be logged in, well, okay, perhaps not, you will need to access, um, because I'm not, as you can see, I'm not logged in and it seems to recognize what I am. It's an ebook. you have access through the library page uh, and I've provided the link uh, directly from here. Once it clicks on the book, you will be to, um, you will be asked you be asked to look log in you might be you might go straight away as i've um, as i've gone and if you look at the um, at this book uh, you can choose to download the book and i think you can keep it for only a little while or you can choose to read it online i typically read them online and it's here partition coefficient in bio uh, and biopharmacy this is the section i'm asking you uh, to read the chapter itself is very interesting but i'm only asking you to read the first uh, six pages so um next thing i'm asking you to do is um, to look at this paper called Two-Dimensional Thin Layer Chromatography of Polar Aromatic Hydrocarbons Measured by Absorption, Fluorescence and Chemoluminescence. And the reason I'm asking you to read this paper is that, again, this is um, the same experiment you are going to be performing in the lab. You are going to be doing 2D thin layer chromatography of a sample of polyaromatic hydrocarbons. In your case, you will be given a standard with four polyaromatic hydrocarbons. This research is study 16, but it, and so they had to measure, they had to assess their um, their TLC plates for with more than than one technique. You will just just use um, UV, UV light, but the, I, th I thought it was an interesting paper that will put in context what you are going to be doing in the lab uh, during practical week compared to what this research, you know, what's happening currently um, on this type of research in, um, in, in the wider context of the scientific community. Additionally, 
um, you have already this I've released task one for the logbook which um, is the graphical abstract uh, so you have the information in the assessment uh, folder assessment one logbook and task one or you can click here and it will take you directly through there what I'm asking you to do is to draw using a software package that can draw chemical structures um, a multi-step synthesis and I'm specifically asking you to draw this particular synthesis um, using ChemSketch or a similar program so um, I've given information about ChemSketch you hopefully are already familiar with it uh, you can access it through the university computers or you can download the program itself It's free to download for uh, com uh, for non-commercial use for pi private uh, use uh, You will need to re register in the page, but it's here it, uh, From alabs.com you will need to um, to register provide a few details and they will email you a link to um, to um, so you can download uh, ChemSketch. It's called ACD ChemSketch Freeware. If you have any questions about this, please ask me. I've included some information, but you know there are. I've included a couple, a video, a three-minute video on using ChemSketch. Uh, there are lots of ChemSketch tutorials on online, so um, I've just chosen this one because it's only three minutes. And if you're not familiar with ChemSketch, it's a really nice introduction. And there's also some information about. Um, how to find out the manuals uh, there are tutorials in the program itself that helps you how to um, how to draw from very simple structures or more complicated ones and there's a little explanation here of where you can find those manuals in the program itself and finally I'm asking you um, to post uh, any questions or comments on the discussion boards there are I've decided to create two discussion boards rather than one per week I will have a general discussion board and I will have one specific uh, about assessment I'm subscribed to those forums so I will get a notification every time you post I will stop sharing my screen now so I can go back to um, to you can go back to see me again uh, feel free to email me if you have any questions or something is not clear and um, but think that if you post in the forums we will all benefit from the discussion the comments the response I give you uh, so you will see that you will be able to learn not only from the communication you have with me but also uh, from the communication we as a group as an inorganic and organic chemistry um, team uh, this semester so nothing else from uh, from me um, I hope this was helpful and again if you have any questions please email me emilia.bertolo at country.c.ca or post in the forum so thank you very much for listening and take care